Hi, how are you? My name is Kate and this is my book review of Natasha Knight's first book from her series. Actually, this is a standalone, Salvatore. Yeah, it's an Italian mafia and um, I have a mixed feeling for this. I love Natasha Knight's book except how she writes her female lead. I love Giovanni. I love Killian. I love I adore to be exact his male lead but I despise her female lead how she write them as a naive innocent boring people my story rating for Salvatore is four and the spice is two one two one in between it, it, this is a dark mafia there's a lot of trigger warning but I was expecting more of the spice and the only reason why I give the story as four because I like Salvatore. He is the most unproblematic king mafia wait in the story. Because I just realized all of Natasha Knight's mafia kings are unproblematic like Giovanni. And, although I have read only three of her books because you know I'm a Rina Kent queen. But yeah this one anyways this is my review now with spoilers sorry i keep talking too much because once again it was expected that i will be disappointed but when it hits you on the face it's different salvatore is the second child of an italian don his older brother serio is supposed to be the one who will inherit their father but he was pew, by an enemy in the gas station so being the second child he is the one who is inherited and when they have a family fight with another um, Italian family they won and as a prize they took the daughter of that Don and set a contract and have it to be arranged marriage with Serio that was five years ago in prologue they signed a contract the 16 year old Lucia Ital the Italian daughter of their enemy, Italian family enemy, was set to arrange marriage with him. And after that, Lucia was sent to the all Catholic church where no one can touch him, no her, no man can touch her to make sure that she's, you know, innocent and pure. However, five years later, the father of Lucia, and alive himself, and because Lucia now graduated from the school, she is now going to live with Salvatore. Salvatore is very nice. He did everything to make sure that she felt safe. She even promised her the freedom, treat her like, you know, not a slave or not a prisoner, but like a person, like a woman. She even was um, allowed to have her siblings or family visit her or her visiting their family home but this is where i despise the female lead she is too naive too dummy too boring that she blames everything for salvatore just because salvatore did not defend her from the contract five years ago salvatore is a kind man but was scared of his father because of his trauma and also because his father is the Don and no one, nobody has ever beaten him because he's a strong, powerful father. And so Salvatore made up by being kind and nice to her, even accompanied her to her home. But the sister of Lucia is a pure evil in disguise. And that's another thing that I didn't like on Lucia because she was too naive to find her sister. Imagine her sister that got pregnant who is supposed to be the payment for the Salvatore family but she got pregnant and actually there's a plot twist on that. Matteo, I think, the younger brother of Salvatore was the one who impregnated the older sister of Lucia and that's why Lucia's sister got disowned and ran away from the family. That was part of the story and part of the push and pull and part of the plot twist. Well, I already told you. But there's more to this. And um, it was actually a very happy ending because as expected, they fell for each other. But they only admitted the... But she only admitted 
yeah both of them only admitted when Serio was shot and you'll never guess who shot him and you'll never guess how and so well that's not, that's for you to discover if ever you read this book and so it was actually a very happy ending and they actually both get to live their dreams a clean life however there's something that is holding Sergio from his new life it's a happy ending but part of him is still lost and you will find that out if you read the book if you are not petty like me with the female leads you can read this the story is for and this book is actually getting a lot of hype on Amazon because I didn't trust book talk for the review of Salvatore because Book Talk always betrays me, so I went to Amazon and they actually gave a positive review, but maybe it's just me. Um, I like all of the story, the plot twist, the character development. My only didn't like is the female, ironically the female lead, because he was she was written as weak, naive, and dummy. But other than that, you will see on this book how amazing and unproblematic Serio is. Matter of fact, you know what he did as soon as he became the daughter? That's for you to read. The family leadership, it was him who made the change. The drastic positive change. He is the surviving, guilt-free, unproblematic king in this world. That's why I gave him four. But yeah, I love this books male lead but i hate the female lead so four and then spice two it wasn't that spicy though i was disappointed with the spice because i was like "Ooh, the giovanni and killian story had so much nice spice but this one this is like the first book giovanni's i think the fifth book and no this is the first book giovanni is the fourth book third is Killian and the second book that's the thing that I haven't read but I don't think I'm gonna read it because I don't know she she's giving me a uh, stress whenever I read her female read so do I recommend this book if you are not petty like me and if you are into unproblematic king mafia go ahead read it but don't uh, don't say I didn't warn you about the female read it's just me okay you know I'm I really hate weak female lead because I want women to be strong and empowered and problematic queens because they in a way motivate me <laughs> anyways thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe and I see you on the next book because this week I've read like four books yeah I devoured all books as quick as I can because you know I want to escape the reality other than that goodbye